Hi, welcome to the cloud computing session. In today's session, we will be discussing about another web service of AWS, which is very important called EBS. So, EBS is another service which falls in the category of storage and it is called infrastructure as a service. So, let us see what is EBS. So far, we have covered this one, we have covered this one and we have also covered this one. So, we have already done these services, we are next going to cover EBS. So, let us see that what is EBS. EBS is a short form for elastic block service. What is elastic block service? It is basically like an external hard drive to one of your EC2 servers which are running in cloud, in Amazon cloud. So, it is like if you, if you, are, if you need to add some more hard disk and external hard disk to your EC2 server which is running, you can create some additional EBS block and attach them to your EC2 server. Now, these can be attached when you create this server fresh new server or they can be attached later and anything you can put it here and you can access three all the applications running on your system. So, these are like a external hard disk. Okay. EBS is nothing but external hard disk also call it elastic block service which can be attached to a EC2 instance. You can have a two EBS volume, one volume can be mounted at this where you will store the root file system, another one you can mount it at mount storage MySQL where you will store your data storage. Now, let us understand little bit about various concepts and features of this service called elastic block service. It allows you to create additional hard disk as I mentioned, it is used for instances which need some hard disk and not just computing resources. It is stored externally from EC2 server, but acts as an internal hard disk which can be used also as a root device to start OS. So, this is very important part. Although it is a, it acts, it is stored externally and it is like external hard disk, but acts as internal hard disk. Why? Because it can also be used as a root device to start the operating system. Generally, in your server and desktop, your external hard disk is not where your root device is. But in this case, you can have the root device on a EBS, which is external volume and you, you can run your system like that. And it can also be obviously to store the data or any other purpose. This EBS elastic block service can be attached or deattached to a running Amazon EC2 or attached at the time of creation of instance. The difference is that it depends on what kind of instance it is. If the boot device was created with an instance store, then you cannot attach it after it starts running at the time of creating itself, you can attach a EBS device. It suits for application that require a database or file system. If you need a large number of files or something, you can put it into your EC2 server, you can put it there itself. It allows you to create a storage volume from 1 GB to 1 terabyte. After creation, you can mount to any instance in same zone. A volume can only be attached to one instance at a time, but volumes can be attached to multiple volumes or many volumes can be attached to a single instance. So, this is what is very important. Each EBS storage volume can be from 1 GB to 1 terabyte. So, it is not as it has a limitation. 
but if you remember S3 there was no limitation that how many objects how many buckets you will create and even the individual bucket individual object inside a bucket was a capacity was very high so it serves most of the purpose a EBS volume can only be attached to one instance at a time but many volumes can be attached to a single instance so it is obvious and these EBS volumes are designed to offer very higher throughput than Amazon EC2 instance stores for applications performing a lot of random access across your data. So that is why these have a much higher throughput than Amazon EC2 instance. Amazon EBS volumes are designed to be highly available and reliable. So, but you can also take a snapshot to increase the risk. So, what you what you could do is that the first of all, it is already very highly available and durable and reliable. But if you are not sure about that, then you can take a snapshot of your EBS disk that is external hard disk or volume and recreate your system later when you need it. Now let us understand the difference between EBS versus instance store. Instance store based AMI have a root devices on a local instance stores, data is not persisted and data IO is free. You cannot stop and restart, it can only be terminated. Now EBS based AMI root device is an external EBS device, data is persisted so you can stop the instance, you can restart the instance, all of that you can do. Data IO is not free, so since it is not local, EBS is external to the actual instance store itself or server. So data IO is not free, you can stop and restart any EBS based AMI. So if AMI is based on an EBS, you can stop and restart. So let us see what is the pricing mechanism for elastic block service. Okay. Volume IO is charged by the number of requests you make to your volume. So the first thing is number of requests and this is 10 cents per allocated GB per month and again 10 cents per 1 million of IO requests. So how many IO requests you are making? So based on that and how much data you are, how much you are allocating the EBS volume. What are the business use case and benefit? First is that allows you to create a persistent instance because if you are going to use the local instance store based AMI, then you cannot just restart the server and if the only thing you can do is that terminate the server. So this one allows you to create a persistence instance. So that is very important. EBS allows you to create a persistence instance AMI. EBS instances can be stopped and restarted which I have already explained. It has a much better performance than pulling your data from S3. So this is important thing again. What it is saying that better performance than pulling data from S3. Why? Because this one uses, uh, it is internal and uses the much better protocol than HTTP protocol which goes over internet to S3. It is cheaper than RDS and S3, so lot of people use the elastic block service. Only way to create a snapshot images of AMI, all the snapshot images of AMI must be always put it inside the EBS block because S3 does not support storing such a large kind of images. And that pretty much completes the EBS service for us.